Hi, I'm John Arnott. I'm the Chief Medical Officer at St. Elizabeth's Youngstown Hospital in Youngstown, Ohio. We witness a lot of sadness in healthcare. Often we see uh, tragic cases in which we're not able to help those individuals, but we're able to honor their wishes and help their memories live on by helping others uh, with organ procurement. Organ procurement in our hospital starts with culture. We have a wall of honor uh, right in our lobby. It's uh, front and center for people getting on the elevator. Uh, we are participating in the walk of honor for our patients and, and we have celebrations uh, for the families of our organ donors. Um, this wouldn't happen without champions and we have many champions in our building starting with our multidisciplinary clinic uh, uh, committees and our multidisciplinary council which then presents in our uh, critical care committees. Uh, this really puts organ procurement front and center for us. There's a commitment that comes from leadership and when we have a case that comes through, whether it's myself or our chief nursing officer or, or others in the organization, we respond to those uh, announcements and we support the team and we thank them for their efforts because it's important that everybody understand, yes, we've dealt with some tragedies, uh, but we've been trying to bring hope also to those families that are waiting for organs. Getting to that point starts with clinical triggers. So when we see a patient with a neuro injury that's on mechanical ventilation and has the loss of two brainstem reflexes, we know that we're at a point. Our EMR is, is hardwired to also help us see that happen. Um, and it starts then with collaboration from our organ procurement organization and the coordinator on, on campus. That coordinator starts the collaboration with the families and counsels with the families. We, we work on communicating early. We have a 98.9% .9 timely referral rate, which converts to 72% organ and tissue procurement. Our organ procurement organization helps us stay hardwired by clarifying our policies and helping our new hires and residents learn what those policies are. And then on a every three year basis, we review our comprehensive criteria and maintain that level of awareness in trying to provide our organization a, a quality intervention for helping others in organ procurement.